working for you today? What allowed you to have, to have one of your, your bigger games of your career today? Yeah, I think we had a good plan, you know, coming in, and I think we had a great week of practice, and that helped a lot. And uh, you know, we just came out, we started fast as we usually do, but uh, you know, the big thing for us was to play, you know, good four quarters. Well, for, for uh, starters, three quarters tonight. But uh, you know, I thought we fought hard every single play. Seems like we talked again. about handling this trip as a business trip and not just traveling to Hawaii, but traveling to play Hawaii. How do you guys think you did on that aspect? I thought we handled it really well. Yeah, uh, we, you know, we came here, uh, you know, had like a six and a half hour flight, got straight off, went and practice, and actually had a really, really good practice. They had a good walkthrough yesterday. Uh, got to go see Pearl Harbor, which is a really cool experience, especially on Veterans Day. But uh, you know, the focus was, you know, obviously winning the game, and thought we did. A, everybody did a really good job of staying focused on the mission. The efficiency on offense, whether it was passing, Jeremy running, seems like it was about as good as it's been this year. Did you do you feel it? That, did you feel like that during the game that it was about as good as you guys have been? Yeah, I think you know we're clicking a lot better than we have um, all year, and I think you know you want to be playing your best football. You know, coming into the end of the year, and I feel like we're doing that. And uh, obviously, we still have a lot we can get better at, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can you know get back to Boise and uh, you know get to work again. With uh, you know, with, with Jeremy, just you know, obviously, he's the guy that kind of sets the tone for you, and you know, teams are going to focus in on him, and week after week, he's been able to handle it. What you know, just again today, he was able to do that and get in the end zone a couple times again. Yeah, you know, you know, people know we're going to run the ball. That's you know, our uh, that's our mantra, and. You know, he does a great job of you know coming and playing tough every single night, um, breaking tackles. You know, he's he's a uh, he's a grinder, and I'm proud of him. You know, I've been proud of him all year, and he's doing a great job. Do you guys How's Thomas and Seth on the outside? How fun is it having that combo? Uh, yeah, it's really fun. You know, we have a lot of good receivers. You know, I can go up and make plays, and uh, when we get our one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the edges because we've been having so much success running the ball. Um, it makes it my job a whole lot easier. With uh, you know, you, you guys, I don't know if you, you hear the Wyoming loss today. I mean, you, I don't know if you guys hear about that. And yeah, it's you still you have to take care of some business, and they have to maybe lose once or twice. But you know, do you guys care about that sort of thing? I mean, when you hear that, does it help you out? Uh, yeah, obviously that helps us. But um, you know, we still got to win two more games, and that's the that's the main focus because none of that means anything if we don't beat UNLV this week and then beat Air Force next week. Were you guys aware of that during the game, or did you just find out after? Uh, somebody told me uh, in the, like one in the fourth quarter when I was on the sideline. Yeah. How nice was it for you guys? You said you said you know three quarters for the starters. I mean that's the first time you've done that since I think the season opener. I mean how nice was that to be able to to be able to kind of sit back and relax and you know let those other guys you know get in some experience. It was good. It was really good, and we we need that. I think we need that um, for sure. You know getting our uh, backups in there, and uh, they they moved the ball really well um, in that fourth quarter there. So that was that was good to see. His, you know, those first couple, you know, I think you guys only punted once in the first half and then started the second half with a touchdown. I mean, just getting the touchdown after touchdown, not settling for field goals, not settling for punts. You know, how important was that? Yeah, you know, once you get into a rhythm on offense it, and you get that first touchdown, it helps a lot. And I think that was big coming out and, uh, you know, getting that um, push fade to Thomas on that first drive, you know, get the, uh, get the mojo going. And I think we kept that throughout the game. We didn't want to